one of the most active CEU in 2D groups. A CEU that usually gets cast in 2D music projects that end up becoming ridiculously popular. Owner of a massive vocal range, exciting singing skills with loads of untapped talent and with a natural leader vibe and ability to fit any music genre, Takuyaguchi is a vocal chameleon you want to have in your 2D music projects. Let's kick off this episode of Sayu Lounge. <laughs> Welcome to Seu Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is Vocal Chameleons Among Male Seiyu Takuya Eguchi If you talk about Seiyu that are active in 2D music projects, Takuya Eguchi is a name you can't avoid. Over the years he has established himself as a reliable singer with an ability to sing in multiple positions something that has allowed him to join a wide variety of 2D music projects. But before diving into why Takuyaguchi is a vocal chameleon well worth checking out and in a way anticipating, let's cover a bit of his career in the music industry. Path in the music industry For many years Takuyaguchi was really active in 2D music projects, however, Parallel to those projects was his work with Trignal. The group, consisting of Hyohei Kimura, Takuya Guchi and Tsubasa Yonaga, debuted in 2012 with the mini-album Party. The group was extremely active until 2018, having under them three rock-solid CDs. One Step Forward, from 2015, Back to Basic, from 2017, and Tricolore, from 2018, that solidified the group's stance as the best Seiyuu unit. With Trignal, fans got to listen to Eguchi growing as a singer and performer. He went from not having much confidence, actually being quite shy on stage, to being really confident and playful. He went from struggling with his consistency and tone to actually having a really good control and showcasing a wide vocal range. Once again, Takuya Gucci grew a lot as a singer with Trignal. That work, allied to his performances for 2D groups, opened the doors for Eguchi to announce his solo debut in 2021. He made his solo debut with the stellar mini-album Egoism, showcasing a comfortable pop-rock sound while delivering an equally laid-back set of performances. This wasn't a groundbreaking release when it came to the performances themselves, lacking any technicality Eguchi is known for or even refraining from showcasing his wide vocal range. But at the same time that those things were put aside, he focused on being himself as a singer. However, still without finding a unique voice for himself. In 2022, Eguchi released his second mini-album, Egurant. This was a daring release, dramatically straying away from the sound of his debut mini-album. Punk rock, EDM and pop made their appearances in the CD and the performances were more daring than ever. This was a massive step forward for Eguchi towards finding his own voice as a solo artist yet still a step away from showcasing his vocal prowess. As it is at the time of recording this episode, Eguchi is slowly discovering his sound and voice trying new things time and time again. Style and singing skills He's a flashy singer, but only mildly. And in terms of performances, he's the closest you can get to the characters he voices, even down to their mannerisms, something that is quite impressive to watch. So when I say that he is a flashy singer, it's because he feeds off the energy around him and he embodies the characters he is performing as. 
As a result, he does lots of fan service, slightly changes the key of some parts in his performances, brings his vibrato out or shouts and screams in parts that didn't require that. It's more about bringing attention to his performance instead of being cocky about it. On stage you can expect Eguchi to really be the character he voices, from the visuals even down to the hair color, to the mannerisms, when he is on stage you are seeing the character you love performing. That immersion only breaks during talk parts in the events. As a solo artist, Eguchi now has a stage presence that naturally attracts the attention of the viewer. That stage presence allied to a lot of confidence in his singing skills and the possibility to unleash his wide vocal range make him one of the most exciting new solo talents among male seiyuu and let's not forget the theme of this episode, a chameleon with a lot of room to grow. When it comes to his singing skills, Eguchi may not seem like it but he's got them fairly polished. As far as his vocal range goes, Eguchi has the ability to perform as a wide variety of characters across the tenor up to the bass vocal range. It's quite impressive how Eguchi does it. While he isn't a massively technical singer, like Toshiki Toyonaga or Soma Saito, or has the ability to sound drastically different from performance to performance like Ayumu Murase, what Eguchi lacks in those departments he compensates with powerful, believable performances in whichever vocal range you ask him to perform in. He can sound insanely low like he does as Shiki, Solid's leader in the Tsuki Pro franchise. He can sound Regal like he does as Hibiki with Fine in the Ensemble Stars franchise, have a comfortable singing tone in his low tenor or high baritone vocal range as a solo artist. He can do R&B riffing, rapping, singing, screaming, clean singing, harmonies, not to mention that he does have a good vibrato and falsetto. This alone is something that shows how comfortable and knowledgeable about singing he is. And when he does all of those with a lot of comfort, you see the chameleon in himself. I've watched plenty of his live performances and he shows that he is the perfectionist type that seldom does mistakes or forgets something. Once again, in his early days as a singer part of Trignal, he did struggle a lot with control, but as time passed he honed that and right now he sounds like a completely different singer. The work you get to see him doing on stage and the performances he delivers on record can attest to his growth and development into a vocal chameleon. To the groups and how he adapted to those. Takuya Gucci has been a member of many 2D groups performing a wide variety of music genres. This is something that is worth mentioning as a chameleon is able to sound close to perfect in whichever music genre they perform, after all they adapt on the fly to what is presented to them. Eguchi does that quite frequently. He's shown his mantle as a rock frontman as the frontman for the eclectic rock band Rev Parfait in the Dynamic Chord franchise. That was one of the very first times in which Eguchi fully embraced the music genre and was the character while performing on stage. He was, prior to joining Rev Parfait, a member of one of the very first popular 2D idol projects, Tokimeki Restaurant. Eguchi showcased his singing skills as a member of SHIP. His performances with the group were always interesting, however, with him showcasing a different side of his vocal range, closer to his natural one. A lot of energy and a dash of sexiness added flavor to the group's songs. Now, the group that quite possibly put Takuyaguchi on the spotlight was Solids in the Tsukipro franchise. 
as Shiki the group's leader, Eguchi got to show his vocal range, bringing both his high range and lower one tapping into four bass to their performances. It was with solids that fans got to listen to him singing in a high key, go from growly low bass vocals to technical falsetto and vibrato parts, and then bringing awesome rapping skills to the spotlight. He then joined Idol Leash 7 and showed that he can adapt his singing to whichever character or quirks a character may have. Most fans nowadays know him for his performances with this popular idol group. Fine in the Ensemble Stars franchise, Killer King in the B Project franchise and Summer Troop in the A3 franchise were essential in Eguchi's career to solidify him as a powerful singer with quite a wide vocal range to the point that he is completely comfortable in baritone and even high bass range. And then, in 2021, Takuya Eguchi took upon himself the challenge of performing Visual K Rock with Visual Prisons Lost Eden. Eguchi's path in the 2D music industry shows that he is a versatile, reliable and powerful singer with a big vocal range. What makes him a vocal chameleon? The ability to be the character he sings as when he is on stage, to consistently deliver rock-solid performances in whichever music genre you throw at him. The ability to perform with the same power and quality as a tenor, baritone and four bass singer. The fact that he fits any kind of music project is even more impressive. For all these reasons and the ones mentioned a couple of minutes ago, Takuya Gucci is a vocal chameleon. Standout performances As one of the most active seiyuu in the 2D music industry, there is no shortage of awesome or even downright impressive performances. Let's analyze some of those in different music genres and from different projects. Shiki with Tide Hikari no Sasuhoe is one of the most iconic solo tracks in the Tsuki Pro franchise. Its dark and suffocating tone instantly make a big impression and its build-up into the overdriven guitar-led chorus and dramatic piano parts will leave you wanting more. However, the most impressive part of this song is Eguchi's display of his vocal range and control. He is performing the verses as a bass singer and the chorus as a baritone and the bridge as a tenor. It is crazy what he pulls off as he rises on his vocal range to wrap up the song with a clear high note in head voice. And if the recording is impressive, just wait until you listen to him or watch him performing this song live. It's 10 times better with Eguchi showing a bit more how difficult this song is to perform, being visibly tired throughout while delivering a flawless performance visiting his wide vocal range. Trignal Yu Kimiga Itekure Takara This is a song that brought a bubbly sound and with it came a performance by Trignal that showcased just how much the group improved as performers. The song has harmonies, unisons, high notes and riffing and everyone is taking turns at each of those. In this song you will find Eguchi singing as a tenor in the chorus, harmonizing in a high key while shifting to his natural baritone range to perform the verses. While subtly, this is a song that illustrates really well Eguchi's versatility and range. Trignal with Mission Before rapping was a cool thing for 2D music projects or even solo artists, Takuya Gucci was already showcasing his rapping skills in 2015 with Trignal. Mission marked an important turn in the sound and vibe for the group, introducing a more refined dance pop sound focused on powerful performances. And while Takuya Gucci delivers an intense performance overall, what impressed most people back then was the rap break in this song. Eguchi showcased that on top of his singing skills and massive vocal range, he 
you can also add rapping skills to the list. The flow, groove and poise took Takuyaguchi to a whole different level of coolness. Idolish 7 with Everything is up to us. Harmonizing, R&B riffing, sweet mid tones, all of those while performing as a character that has specific quirks due to being a foreigner. Takuyaguchi does it all in this performance and while not being the center, he naturally shines throughout this song with his riffing and gentle mid tones. Lost Eden with Bloody Kiss. This was the very first time that Takuya Gucci performed Visual K Rock as the leader of a band or group. For Lost Eden's Bloody Kiss, you will find in full display and on top of the aggressive instrumental, Takuya Gucci performing as a fall bass. And let me tell you, it is quite impressive how imposing and untouchable he sounds. Takuya Gucci with HRC. HRC is the perfect example of how fast and clean Takuya Gucci can sing. These two things don't go usually hand in hand given how difficult it is to sound clear and clean while talking or, in this case, singing. Even worse when it is fast as hell. More than a showcase of range, the performance in question is a showcase of control and technique. While it might not sound like it, Takuyaguchi is undoubtedly one of the vocal chameleons out there, able to take in any challenge on the vocal end and absolutely nail it. Most people know Takuya Gucci as one of the most charismatic and fun personalities among male seiyu, but there is much more to him. He's an underrated vocal chameleon that, while not as technically skilled as others mentioned in this podcast, he always delivers 100% regardless if it is on record or live. You can expect his performances to stand out for their intensity and then his commitment to the characters he voices, even acting and dressing as them, adds the last touches that makes him a complete performer on top of being a vocal chameleon. Now tell me, what do you enjoy about Takuya Gucci's singing skills and is there a performance of his that impressed you? Let me know in the comments on YouTube and remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Say You Lounge. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the hand that feeds HQ's weekly mail Say You and music related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Say You Lounge. Thank you for listening and see you guys around.